Now today we've spoken at length about Anthony Calvillo, but to sum it all up for us, we go to the final word with Stephen Brunt. Uh, Stephen, I'm going to start with this. How will history remember Anthony Calvillo? I, I think history will remember him as one of the greatest quarterbacks in the history of the three down game. He's a automatic Hall of Famer the first year he's eligible. I don't think there's any question about that. He won championships. Maybe some people think he should have won more with a very great with a great Montreal team. He played with a lot of great teams, probably didn't win as many great cups as he should have. But longevity, passing yardage, uh, efficiency, football intellect, you know, he had all of those things. So he's on the list of the best players, the best quarterbacks to play in what has always been a quarterback dominated game. Uh, speaking of that list, uh, where do you think he falls in the greatest CFL players of all time? Well, here's my subjective list, okay? Because, uh, and this, I only, it's only people who I've seen during my, you know, relatively long lifetime. So I've seen a few more players than some people have who are younger than me. Uh, but I've been following the league since I was a kid. To me, the best two quarterbacks I've ever I, who passed through the CFL were Warren Moon and Doug Flutie. You know, Moon didn't play here that long, but a guy who was in the CFL Hall of Fame and also in the NFL, the uh, Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton, was a star in both leagues. Flutie had that kind of magical quality for the eight years he was in the CFL. I think that Anthony Calvillo is on the list right below those two guys. So we're talking about him in, a, on the, in the same category as people like Rush Jackson, uh, Matt Dunnigan, uh, Ron Lancaster. You know, those are pretty good names. And so just, I think the other two guys at the, at the absolute top and Anthony Calvillo is on the list with some great players right below them. You know, just go going past uh, Anthony Calvillo as the man, you know, his talent and hard work are the great reasons for his success, but who else deserves credit for getting Anthony to where he is today? Well, you have to look at the consistency of that organization from the day, really from the day the Baltimore Stallions moved to Montreal and, uh, be and became the, the reborn Montreal Alouettes. And there's one point of continuity, and that's Jim Pop. You know, Jim Pop was with the team in Baltimore. Jim Pop has been with the team through its entire new existence in Montreal. They have been contenders ever since the day they arrived. The cast of characters around Anthony Calvillo has changed, uh, but there's one point of consistency, and that's Jim Pop bringing in players, sometimes coaching as well. And I think if you asked Anthony, you know, what the key to his success has been in Montreal, what the key to his consistency has been, it's that he plays for the best organization in the Canadian Football League. He's been surrounded by talent consistently. And all of those arrows point to one guy, and that's Jim Pop. I mean, when he retired across the, the football world, he was getting praise. Do you ever think that Anthony Calvillo could have made that jump to the NFL? You know, there was a moment right around 2002 after they won a Super or after they won a Grey Cup where he thought about it. He had a window contractually to get out. Some NFL teams worked him out. And I think, you know, he's one of those guys that if someone had picked him up earlier in his career and had the patience with him in the NFL, I think he could have played in the NFL. But it's, it's all about opportunity. It's not that he didn't have the physical talent. I just think that that window was very narrow and it closed. He's not a spectacular, he doesn't have a spectacular arm. He doesn't, he's not spectacularly mobile. He's not going to light it up that way, but I think, as, you know, as Montreal found out, if you had the patience with Anthony Calvillo and gave him an opportunity, he could become a great quarterback. I think he could have played in the NFL, but he never really, really got that shot. Well, I think we can all agree on that we are very happy to have him uh, here in Montreal. And uh, at the press conference, uh, he said that he's going to stick around for a little bit, so we're happy about that too. Uh, Stephen, thanks a lot, and uh, we'll see you next week. See you, Wilder.